Welcome to the Green Wisdom Health Podcast with Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis, where you will learn about natural solutions to common ailments. And now, here are your hosts, Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis. Hello and welcome to this week's show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are Green Wisdom Health, home of your low-cost lab work, here to bring you another very educational show about uh, this week, MTHFR, which if some of you are wondering, no, we're not cursing you. Um, We want to educate you a little bit about what MTHFR is, what you can do about it, if you have it, and what is that? Because is that a disease or what's going on? So Dr. Lewis, can you explain a little bit about uh, MTHFR? I know it's an enzyme that adds a methyl group to folic acid to make it usable by the body. But uh, much of that is Greek to many of us out there. So uh, could you enlighten us with what the real deal is with it? Yeah, and, you know, I'd like to thank Katie for asking on uh, Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis. Uh, if you're listening and you're not a member, please go ahead and join because it's, uh, I've been told, pretty informational, a good way to pass information back and forth, Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis. And Katie asked uh, about 5-MTHFR, and Katie's the sister of Fran. Hi, Fran. Um, yeah, at least half of us have that genetic SNP, and SNP stands for SNP, single nucleotide polymorphism. And we can have it to different degrees. It's on one of the genes called 677, and then there's another one, 1298. And you can have a double SNP or a single SNP. And I have a single. Uh, it's not one of the worst ones, but I had read enough to figure out, oh, I had it based on me and my family history. So me being who I am almost perfect to Janet, but uh, I started out, this is a man thing, if a little bit's good, more is better, so I started out on the most uh, powerful one we have, which, and I tell this story to a lot of people, and I tell it the same, I said, I felt terrible for five days, but I don't lose faith, so if you have a bad day, keep on doing the right thing, for God's sake, don't bail out, so I felt bad for five days, and on the sixth day, it was like Jesus parted the clouds and angels started singing. And Janet can tell you the very day I don't take that one capsule. And that takes care of the uh, 5-MTHFR problem that I have, which stands for uh, methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. used to be easier to say that than just the initials. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, there, there's we're going to talk about a lot of things. And uh, well, as well, it, well, wait, how, how does someone know whether they have it or not? How do they find that out? Uh, we can do the lab test, and you can get it on 23andMe, which will tell you a lot of other things, and that's the way Janet and I did it. I'd already figured that most things out that 23andMe had told me. They said, I'm a slow metab- metabolizer of alcohol. And it's like, well, duh, five Miller Lights when I was 19 years old. I figured out real quick I didn't metabolize alcohol real quick. I never have been a big drinker anyway, but... Uh, and it said I had the tendency toward dementia. It's like, well, duh, you look at my mama, you could tell that. Although we did put it off about 25 years and made her mental acuity much, much better. You could see it in her in her 60s. And when I say we, it's me and my brother, Dr. James Lewis. And then Janet came along and Janet kind of has a way of convincing people in a sweet way to do the right thing. And my mother would do anything for Janet because I told her, I said, well, I finally got a wife like my daddy had. So my mama loved Janet after that. So mama took a lot of stuff and dementia didn't really get her until she got, yeah, you could see it pretty bad in 88. And it really started kicking her butt about 92 or so. Well, it's interesting that you <laughs> mention a slow metabolizer of alcohol because actually that's one of the, uh, underlying gene mutations like the MTHFR. Janet Um, just thought I was cheap. Yeah, it's actually lingering fatigue, fogginess, anxiety, sleep issues, and an inability to deal with alcohol and other toxins effectively can be a result of that gene mutation. Those are bad drunks. I'm a sweet drunk, but and it only takes one or two. Two's kind of overload for me, but... Uh, Apparently, stress has a compounding factor with it as well. Yeah, stress is one of those words that means so much. It means almost nothing. But some of these methylation defects uh, can contribute to or cause 
diabetes. How many people are diabetic? And, you know, that's reversible about 95% of the time. It contributes or causes fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, like Janet mentioned, fatigue, cancer. Uh, How many people know you have that genetic predisposition but don't do anything about it? I hope you listened to our previous podcast about that. Uh, Addictive behavior, including alcoholism. And I'd like some time to get into the mental health issue because I think that's one of the things that's not being talked about in some of these uh, bad things that are happening in the country. Uh, this methylation problem can t- can cause autism or contribute to autism or Down syndrome, frequent miscarriages, bipolar or manic depression. Y'all hang on to that because if I do get into the mental health issue, remember this can be causing bipolar or manic depression. Uh, allergies, uh, chemical sensitivities. How many people walk down the cleaning aisle of the grocery store and the chemical smell just drives you out of the store? Uh, it can cause autoimmune disorders. And I, I tell you, folks, we're getting more and more autoimmune disorders by the day. And we do have a new product that Janet and I are just incredibly excited about uh, that helps deal with it. Uh, and we have just started at we being Janet and me because we have to experiment. We don't sell anything we don't know in our heart is a good thing. And it's called SBI Protect. And it's a bovine source of immunoglobulins. And you have to, with that, uh, increase mucosal immunity. Uh, and you have to reset the immune system tolerance. Well, it's for people with leaky gut, right? Right. Because 80% of our immune system is in our gut. Mm -hmm. So the mucosal immunity is one of the big factors in determining your immune system's health and your body's ability to function at a higher level. I'm pretty excited about it because uh, I have that problem. I have leaky gut problems and, you know, people have Crohn's and that kind of thing, too. This is a huge product for celiac. uh, Apparently, um, we are rep. Uh, for orthomolecular talked to us about it and he said this used to be a four hundred dollar per month drug that they gave uh, these people for leaky gut and it really did help but because it had gone to four hundred dollars per month uh, they decided to let the patent go on it uh, and not make it a drug anymore so orthomolecular bought the uh, rights to make it into the natural product that originally starts out anyway as and um it now at a, I think it's seventy dollars or something like that, something around that price. So we're model. having some incredible success yes. with the people that yes. said, "I don't want to wait for you to experiment. I want on it now." And they're coming back saying, "Oh my God, I hadn't felt the peace of God, and my guts don't hurt." And it, we're just hearing because some people don't want to wait for Janet and me to experiment. They're jumping on it with us. They're willing to take the chance. We're getting some incredible feedback for those that have IBS, et cetera, you know, gut problems. And keep in mind, it can take up to two months to uh, make a difference in the gut uh, to heal it if you're really, really bad. So don't, think, yeah. you know, take a couple of scoops of it and you're going to be one of those people that have that great reaction. But um, some people just take a little bit longer. Well, part of it's your faith, too. I mean, Janet feels things quicker. But yeah, you, you get your peak uh, healing at one to two months. Janet's absolutely right. But um, I, I can tell you that it does change bowel motility. In a I good way. A good, yes, a good way to say it. For um, They say the people that have like irritable bowel and they're going, I think the, the test was done on uh, with these yeah. people with this product where they were going like to 16 times a day. Yeah, if you're pooping 16 times a day, you need 16 scoops. Right. And it. Uh, well, it's 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 five milligrams, and anyway, you can go down when your uh, bowel motility slows down. Janet's laughing. I think I said something that's you know I'm always putting my boot in my mouth, but uh, <laughs> immunoglobulins are very very important, and we've known about them for over a hundred years. You know, there's all kinds of uh, immunological studies and Nobel prizes given. Uh, for people over a hundred years ago that discovered this, and uh, you know, colostrum back in the 1990s. Well, colostrum's still a really good thing. We have to get our colostrum out of New Zealand because they're happier, cleaner cows. But uh, we've actually gone beyond uh, the efficacy of colostrum. So, if you want a healthy 
body and your kids or grandkids have issues, this is an easy thing to get into a finicky kid's diet. Yeah. So can you relate that now back to MTHFR, how how that has something to do with um, the gut health and the MTHFR gene? Oh, my God. She's going to tie my thoughts together and uh, just talk to a sweet lady, Toya, in California. And she said she loved our interview with uh, Drew Manning. And I said, well, that's the one that uh, this other lady says, I didn't go down the rabbit hole. I stay in the rabbit hole or down the rabbit tracks. And, you know, that's kind of normal for me. Well, he gets very excited about things. And so his thoughts run randomly. But I'm trying. He, he does have a method to his madness over there. And he's <clears throat> going to put it all together for you. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine years ago put it real well. He said, I don't shoot a pump shotgun because I get so excited I forget to pump the action and, you know, miss all the birds. Uh so, yeah, uh, gut health is very, very many times, at least half the time, probably a lot more connected to the MTHFR problem. And some of the things that it can also cause is dementia and Alzheimer's. Well, OK, 23 and me said I have that tendency. But we're you know, you can you know, if you listen to the last podcast, thank you, Debbie Terry, uh, for telling me how much she enjoyed it. She's kind of a crazy girl from Midland, uh, grew up together. I don't know where I was going with that because I get dementia and Alzheimer's, but it can also cause schizophrenia and anxiety. Y'all pay attention to that. We're, you know, trying to lead into mental health, and that is very, very, very connected to the GI tract. Janet's a real sweet lady. She buys me dozens and dozens and dozens of books, and one of my favorites is about the GI tract being the second brain from uh, Dr. Gershorn. It's actually a lot more technical than I thought it was going to be, so I really kind of enjoyed that. But you have to get the gut healthy to have a healthy mind. Uh, some of the things that interfere with your methylation pathway if you don't have enough zinc which is all of us b2 which is riboflavin magnesium b6 b12 which is the good ones methylcobalamin people say but i've got a really good product well if it's got methylcobalamin okay good if it's got cyanocobalamin they're lying to you and you fell for their hype because cyanocobalamin is not very convertible it has to be done in the liver and you can take heavy heavy doses of cyanocobalamin and still have a b12 deficiency so people say oh well this company says they're the best yeah look at what they're putting in it if it's a uh, cyanocobalamin and magnesium oxide run for the hills it's not that good then there's folate now folate is what this mthfr is about methyl tetrahydrofolic acid uh, you have to have a specific kind if you have that genetic SNP and that specific type is MTHFR. And the folic acid, we found a new one, too, because I read about something called folinic acid that feeds the hippocampus of the brain. And Janet gives me lots of stuff to support my heart and the brain. She says, we need your big brain, which is not true, but she's just humoring me. This folinic acid is coupled with TMG, which is trimethylglycine, which is a methyl donor. So it helps you methylate. And I swear my memory got really, really good. I can remember codes from our condo in Branson from months ago. I can remember our room con, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I can't remember that. <laughs> the, 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 the number they give you to confirm that you have a room rented. I've Wait, I could confirmation number. Yeah, the confirmation. <laughs> you know, I'm going down another rabbit hole. I can remember some of those from several months ago, and it's like this folinic acid with TMG. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And, and I do take a lot of the five MTHFR too. Uh, but one of the things that can contribute to this uh, problem is poor diet. Well, we all have a poor diet. Poor probiotic status because that does not allow your GI tract to function uh, as effectively as it can. Remember back, if y'all listen to any of our podcast, you remember me saying that there are certain uh, species of lactobacillus that decreases your anxiety response and the bifidobacterium that uh, increases uh, your GABA, your serotonin. So the lactobacillus and the bifidobacterium are very, very critical, and it takes a very serious effort to get that into your GI tract because you're just putting one or two capsules a day, but it's into uh, 
it's hard for a small army to overwhelm what it is going into, into the GI tract. So that's why this SBI Protect is real important because it tightens the junctions of a leaky gut so that you don't get those pathogens, those antigens that go through the gut mucosal lining and create more of an autoimmune system. So uh, medications actually strip you of uh, a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you don't have enough of anyway. Uh, the conditions, you know, like Crohn's or celiac, that, that lowers uh, a lot of your nutrition too. So one of the other things is heavy metals and chemical sensitivities. And um, Joe from Saline, Michigan, asked about heavy metals and, and uh, mercury in your mouth. And I try not to get into that. Uh, it's real controversial. But I did tell you I had those taken out of my mouth, you know, because they were in fillings. And, and you know, if you smoke, you're getting tons of cadmium. Uh, you're, we're full of aluminum, which can create Alzheimer's or a major contributing factor uh, to high copper, believe it or not. Arsenic. Well, my wife doesn't give me arsenic. Well, if she's giving you chicken, she's giving you arsenic. If it's not uh, organic, you're getting arsenic like crazy. So don't think you're immune to this. Uh, acetylaldehyde, which is... Um, it's caused by candida, actually, but you get the formaldehyde from your carpets, outgassing from your linoleum and things like that. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the supplements that can be good, but you have to understand people. I hear this term all the time, brain fog. Well, if you get a hangover, uh, that can be yeast overgrowth, which can go f- to bad gut health, which is 5-MTHFR problem. Or it can be the alcohol intolerance. And it could be that it's just yeast, or it could be that it's the uh, methylation problem, migraines, depression, anxiety, irritability. There's just tons and tons of those things. So for a minute, I'd like to talk about um, some of the supplements that I think everybody should be taking because you don't get it out of the diet. I don't care how good your diet is. So let's talk about B1, and that's thiamine. And most of the time I put them on benfodiamine, which uh, is generally more effective than thiamine because it helps control damage from diabetes. Um, It helps with the brain fog if that's an overload of yeast and they have uh, the or candida. They have the ability to offset uh, your body's ability to uh, absorb it, and and that's a scary thing. So if you have a deficiency in B1 or thiamine, you can have symptoms that can uh, include gastrointestinal disturbances. So who knows where this comes from? Is it from the G- GI tract to the brain, the brain to the GI tract? Is it a nutrient deficiency? It can cause heart changes. It can cause irritability. It can cause labored breathing, loss of appetite. Well, that'd be a good thing for most of us. Muscle atrophy. It can cause nervousness. Notice there's a lot of mental issues going on here. There was a study I read one time about in a prison, they gave all the prisoners a dose of B vitamin complex. Now, keep in mind, it was probably a lower class, not the best B vitamin complex, The violence in this bad, bad prison is full of bad boys. Violence was cut 50%. Now, can you imagine if some of these things that's going on today that's horrible? What if these kids had good nutrition? Would their brain function better? Hey, all this research says it does. And we talk about um, all of these issues and getting tested. There's also, um, if you have depression or like Dr. Lewis said, any of those uh, symptoms that he named off, there's a product that you can just take and and see how it works because it's a a very high amount of um, the folate and the B12. The right kind of folate. Right, all in one pill. It's a quatrifolic um Five methylhydrofolic acid. Ooh, that's sexy. Thank you. <laughs> but you only have to take one pill of these, and you do it uh, one in the morning, and it really does make a difference for people that have this mutation. I'm also going to put on the website the um, 
the testing if you're interested in seeing which lab test to find out if you have that um, difficulty because that's really something you need to know because you're more open to a whole lot more problems. Um, but there is the the product's called methyl CPG. It's by orthomolecular. And um, I will put that in the show notes as well if you forget what I said. So um, that's a great one. And uh, that's, we, a, that's the one I felt bad for five days. I stuck with it on the sixth day. It's like, oh, my God, Janet can tell you the day I don't take it. She can tell you. Yeah. And we've also promised a couple of people we'd answer some questions because we do have our question and answer segment that uh, is going on. Um, one of them, because we're still in the middle of this uh, flu bug sick season, and then coming up on allergy season, um, the question was from Krista R, uh, sinus congestion and drainage, even after adding a humidifier, is there a product that is great for, um, for sinus drainage? So I'll let Dr. Lewis answer that. Well, us. especially if you're clogged up, uh, the Sinutrol has done an incredible job uh, to open it up and be kind of... Uh, it kind of helps dissolve some of those things. It's full of berberine, which is anti-yeast, anti-fungal. And in the studies, if you read the real research, 96% of all sinus problems are fungal. I thought that was very interesting. So there's things in Sinotrol that are big uh, viral yeah. killers. Berberine. And then it's got the bromelain, which is uh, you know from pineapple, and it's a really good uh, enzyme for you know, inflammation in general. And it's got the turmeric root, and it's the good stuff, which is 95% curcumin, uh, which we'll get into in another show. Then it's eletherio root, which is um, a very good adaptogenic herb. And then thyme extract, which, yeah, that's not just for flavoring things. Uh, it's also very, very uh, medicinal in its use. Uh, then it's got andrographis, which is a, uh, adaptogenic herb and then it has a pretty high dose of something called n-acetylcysteine which is called NAC. NAC is a, a mucus thinner but also it's an incredible uh, liver detoxifier and it's the precursor to glutathione and glutathione is an incredible energy producer and immune system booster and that's why I tell people you better take care of your liver because the liver's like a woman if if the liver ain't happy ain't nobody happy well that's kind of like a woman one to three folks in the morning <clears throat> if you're awake that's the hours that it will try to repair and if you're just wide awake you better suspect mama ain't happy yeah and people that have a drink a small alcoholic drink and then they get mean or depressed an MTHFR problem. Yeah, probably <laughs> so. And it's like, you know, I know people like that. And it's like, they've never even had their genetic testing. But it's like, God, you're an idiot when you're drunk. Not that you're much better when you're sober. But <clears throat> speaking of alcohol, there is one thing I want to tell you. There is a course given by a guy out of the UK. It's called The Truth About Alcohol by Lee Davy, D-A-V-Y. And if you're interested in taking a course that's different than Alcoholics Anonymous, you might want to talk to Lee Davy. You can look him up on the Internet. He's easy to find. So, Okay, then we've got uh, Katie L. Wanted to know, while traveling, is there anything to keep the bugs away? Well, I put a picture of the Shiner beer sign and said this is – my flu shot, and I got a lot of likes on that. Actually, I don't think beer is good for sinuses or get keeping the flu bug away. I was just teasing. Uh, well, any kind of bugs, like when you're traveling, you know, you pick up uh, stuff in the water or or whatever. Um, yeah, we take stuff. We have a. There's a couple of things that I always take whenever we travel because you never know what you're getting. Uh, one of them is Parashield because. Believe it or not, parasites exist, and sometimes in other places that you travel, they exist a little bit more prevalent. So uh, <laughs> we take Parashiel to try to kill off anything. Uh, olive leaf extract is also another great one. It's got to have a high amount of oliprin in it. We carry a great one here if you've not ever heard of it. Um, yeah, there's good medical research on that one. 
That one's a huge one for uh, like a natural antibiotic to carry. Along I didn't get you. MRSA when I had the spider bite, and uh, the surgeon sent another surgeon in and swabbed my spider bite, swabbed my nose. They said, you get that, and that's called MRSA. That's the flesh-eating bacteria. They said, we don't understand. You always get it from the spider bite. If you don't get it from the spider bite, you get it from the hospital. And they said, we don't understand. And I was given literally a lecture at 3 a.m. to the nurses about uh, olive leaf and the research that Upjohn did on it. And they said, we don't understand. I said, you don't need to understand. That's the problem in America. You think you have to understand it. All you have to do is put it in and have faith. And and we need to be a nation of doers, not a nation of thinkers. And then the other product that I take along with us is N8, the probiotic, because um, I know it has it supposed to be refrigerated, but... Many times I don't do that whenever we're traveling, and it's just fine. It's um, it's not that critical. It, yes, it's just shortens the the shelf life down from like four years to two or something. So uh, I figure I'm going to take it during that time. But the thing with N8, uh, either the 2014 or the 5014, it um, will help you with food poisoning, which is why we found it to start with. Okay. I actually had food poisoning, and that's how we came across that product. She ate some really not-so-good Japanese food, and she'll never go back to that restaurant. And I told, uh, we were in Mississippi at the time in a hotel, and I told Dr. Lewis, just leave me here. I'm going to die, and just come back at another day. You're he's, not dying in <laughs> Vicksburg, Mississippi. Yeah. You know, and uh, Ain't happening. <laughs> and, and, and I did not know anything about N8 probiotic at that time, and um, after I could not get over it, which took me two or three weeks before we found this product, um, a sample was sent to me and I tried it and oh my gosh, it was like every time I took it, I felt better and better. So that's one thing I am never without when we travel. Um, another question that came in is uh, people keep hearing these shows and they don't really know what we do. For you, for those of you that don't know what we do, um, basically we run low cost lab work and we run it across the United States. Um, we have it drawn at a facility close to your home. Um, it's a special contract that we have, and it's with Quest Diagnostics across the United States. But now some of you probably know that we do this because we have the lab panels on the website, uh, which has been a huge blessing for everyone because they can look and see what they want. The problem is they don't know what to pick. So one of the questions was, what panel should we pick when we get started? So um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, our favorite is to have you fill out a health survey and it actually will recommend to you what, um, based on what you filled out, what panel is the best one for you. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, Dr. Lewis actually reads every one of those surveys that come through and he can make recommendations and, uh, either he or I call you either one and tell you, uh, which one we recommend. The safe one, if you don't want to talk to us, which I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to do that. But some people don't want to talk to us. They would rather just do it themselves and order. It would be the comprehensive panel. And um, be, and I'm telling you that they all the, the ones that come with Dr. Lewis's uh, complimentary consultation and a recommended supplement sheet and a functional medicine report, as well as a copy of your lab, uh, we have exclusive pricing on, so we've bundled it all together to save you a whole lot of money. And all of those lab panels start, they'll have, they'll have numbers in them. They all start with a GWH for Green Wisdom Health, and they're, and they're numbered one through eight. And, um, the easiest, probably simplest one to get started with is the comprehensive, which is GWH3. Because that's um, just the basic panels. And when we say basic, that's 12 different lab panels. So, and I know it's your doctor's office basics about one to three, but our basic is 12. And, and, I, then, and I would suggest you add the hormones too. So, well, and if he's suggesting to add the hormones, you'll see that it's either GWH1 or GWH2, depending on whether you're male or female, uh, because that, that is a really special price. Um, you know, if you're not having hormone problems and you want to start in the cheapest way is the comprehensive one. So hopefully that answers some questions and clears up some confusion about how to get started with all of that. And I didn't get around to a whole lot of things, which is typical. When I write these things, I always have about four or five, ten times more information than I get around to. And that's why I talk sometimes fast, which is really not in my nature. I bet you Debbie can tell you about that one. Um, 
but you get right to the point. And that's what we always enjoy. Yeah, right down that rabbit trail and that rabbit trail and that rabbit trail. So, you know, thank you for helping keep me a little bit straighter. But I hope you get a lot out of it. And there, there's so many other things I'd like to say. And I just, you know, can't get around to all of it in 30 minutes. But we have so many opportunities to get our mental health back, to to have better function and to take care of some of this crazy stuff that's going on. And it's not that hard. It's not that expensive. Uh, and we give advice about that. I was asked the other day if I'd go to Dallas and give a talk to a church. And uh, I looked at her and said, yeah, for you, I will. But, uh, you know, there's so many answers out there and listen to different podcasts. But for goodness sake, get on it and do it. And we can help guide you if you have any questions. My number here is 903-663-1008 or get on the website greenwisdomhealth.com. And we'll have another entertaining and educational show for you next week. Bless you. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.